Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Boone, coming at you guys with a brand new video. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so annoyed right now. My neighbor is currently doing like yard work, something like that, but they're making the most noise possible. So, hopefully you guys cannot hear that in the background. If you can, my apologies. I honestly almost just like didn't even make a video today because I hate like little things like that in the audio. They just bother the hell out of me. But I wanna make some content for the fans, for all you subscribers. So, here we are with a brand new video on my channel. Wow, what a shocker. Um, today, I'm gonna be bitching about palace my favorite when I'm not bitching but simply making an observation. You know me, I love to complain. Uh, not really though, but I just want to make this video today because on my Insta story on Seattle Select, I made this little post just talking about how Palace has been bugging me a lot. A lot of people have been asking me, where are the Palace Live Cops? If you guys did not know, I used to do a lot of Palace Live Cops every single week. Um, and I have not done a Palace Live Cop in a couple months now. The last Palace Live Cop I did was one of the worst Live Cops I've ever done just because um, I was in the queue for like five or six minutes. Like I'm telling you guys, the Palace website is absolute garbage before we get in all that you already know I got to show off the heat so um, I only have one item to show off today unfortunately but it is a banger we have the supreme um, sumo t-shirt if you guys did not know this is the original supreme advertisement well not the original the first supreme advertisement they ever did it was in a magazine um, it's just got this little sumo wrestler print which is really cool very clean nothing too insane it's just the homie putting his hair up kind of like me like I could low-key be the sumo uh, wrestler you know what I'm saying if I just put my hair up that'd be a funny ass uh, recreation to do. Never catch me with my hair up ever. I start looking like my mom. Shit gets uh, so. Uh, we're gonna move on from that. Shout out to the homie Sean for that though. We did a little exchange. Um, I gotta send him some Kappa pants now off my website. Go check that out if you guys would like to. The last little thing I want to say before we jump into this video about Palace is just a thank you to everyone that showed support on my video from yesterday. Um, it was just like a more creative video talking about my ideas for Supreme and you're gonna see a lot more creative videos having to do with Supreme now that the season's coming to an end. I don't have any rest mode. There's no snooze button on on this channel. Um, I'm still going to be providing a lot of content for you guys once the season's over. My channel does not just reflect around the Supreme season. I have to say, you guys came up with some super sick ideas for some Supreme collabs that should do next season. I always love to see the comment section just um, flooded with like awesome comments and just like constructive like discussion. Okay, I'm just going to shut up now. I sound so corny, um, but let's just jump into this video of me complaining about Palace. Um, so we're just going to go through like a little list I guess I made. Not really. I made it in my head I suppose. Um, it's going to start with like the things that are the most severe, the things I want to complain about the most, and then like the back of the list is just going to be small things that I'm just really bugged by. So, um, starting it off, I have to just go right at the Palace website's throat because let's be honest, that website is so beyond garbage. Like Palace needs to take notes from Supreme. Palace's website, if you guys did not know, is ran by Shopify. Um, I used to have a Shopify actually until they booted me off it, told me I couldn't sell Supreme and Palace on it, which was so whack. Um, but so basically they run their website off of Shopify and that's cool and all. Shopify is a cool little like service, whatever. However, the issue with Shopify is it's the easiest um, website to bot of any website when it comes to buying stuff for retail. Some of you guys may have noticed this with like like the most recent seasons, even like last season, stuff has been starting to fly. And not just like fly, should be like teleporting. Should be going faster than when you pull up on an Abra in Pokemon and just teleports out of there. Like that's every single hype item on Palace this year. Um, it beyond annoys me. Like I'm gonna try to show you guys a little highlight actually right now of the last Palace drop I went for live in a live cop. And you can see what my experience was like. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating, dude. I feel like I've already taken an L. It's already been a minute. Probably the most frustrating live cop I've ever done on Palace. Like this is un unreal bro like you still I'm still not even through the queue it's been four minutes like I actually think I'm going insane from looking at this stupid checkout screen yeah it was not good I was so annoyed just a waste of my time that's why I don't go for palace anymore it's just it's literally impossible for manual users like some of you may know that palace reverse OT dropped last um, week last Friday and I thought that was an awesome t-shirt I would have loved to go for it did I go for it or did I even bother getting up hell no I already knew I was not gonna get that I went up to the palace clothing subreddit after the drop like like an hour later just to see like if I actually should have gone for the drop like how people did and stuff and I saw every single person that said they went manual um, did not get the items like they flew um, nobody can get stuff manually if it's a hyped item off palace anymore which is just so stupid um, Supreme obviously is incorporated in their their website a lot of bot detection um, they got rid of like uh, autofill stuff like that and palace honestly needs to go down this route I pray I pray that they either see this video or just hear the negative feedback that there's been in the 
the community surrounding all their drops and do some kind of action um, just to like prevent all these bots because right now the website is impossible to cop manually basically you cart something you have to go in the checkout queue there is a bypass to get through the checkout queue but even despite that like you still are getting beat by bots just because it's so easy to get through Shopify using a bot um, and I'm sure some people are like rubbing their hands right now like oh my god like boo just put me on to the fact that you can bot pallets I'm gonna bot everything now if you're like one of those people I absolutely hate you and you are the reason I'm not gonna be buying pallets anymore um, there are some other reasons though so I guess I should stop complaining about this one issue I will say it is the biggest reason I'm making this video because I just had to like call pallets out for this it's absolutely absurd that you disallow any manual user to get any product they want from you um, you're just only serving the resellers and the bot users and I'm a reseller myself obviously the difference though between me and bot user resellers is they get like 10 or 20 of the most hyped item um, and all separate carts and all have like that item sent to their house while I just go manually get like three or four items fair and square and just like get them secured resell them like it's totally fair in my opinion if you resell going manual I mean you have the exact same odds of getting everything as anyone else so it's not like they can be mad at you um, however when you start using bots that's when it gets ridiculous but we're gonna jump into my next point now so my second point of just like annoyance with palace is the repetition in their designs and I'm sure some people are gonna fight me on this because obviously palace has some crazy out there and like just really new different designs every single season I 100% agree with that um, they definitely do do like some really crazy sick pieces they'll have some new patterns some new prints like they had those weird like fruit prints one year um, they had like the disc print this year like I love that aspect about palace that's one of my favorite things with palace is they really try their hardest to switch stuff up but that's only with most items there are some things that just stay the exact same with palace no matter what um, or at least very close to similar um, one thing that I'm talking about is the shoulder bags the shoulder bags from palace are super cool however my issue with them is they look the exact same every single season like it's literally just a little shoulder bag with a trifurg on it every single time um, and it just gets so old like if you look at supreme they at least switch up like the bodies of their different shoulder bags their different sizes they'll put different stuff on the straps maybe um, they're always just switching stuff up at least like enough to the point where it's not one of one like replicas of the old last drop whereas with palace uh, mostly their shoulder bags are just repetitions of the exact same thing just in general as well my issue with palace is how much they use the triferg design um, supreme obviously has the box logo that's their go-to design and they do use the box logo a lot however the way that supreme uses box logos varies because sometimes they'll just have like a straight box logo tee which obviously drops like once a season if it even drops that season uh, but then sometimes they'll incorporate like little mini box logos this shirt I'm wearing right now has a little mini box logo and that to me doesn't even really count as like their big branding or anything that's just them putting a little bit of branding in there you never see palace do just like a little triferg somewhere in a design um, palace just puts like on so many jackets so many t-shirts um, bag whatever just the triferg gets spammed over everything and it's completely just killed that design in my opinion um, now palace does try to do different trifergs every season I totally um, commend them for that I respect them for that however to me personally I don't think their trifergs have been hitting recently in a long time um, which is really unfortunate because I love the triferg design but I think the older triferg designs are a lot better than the ones we've been seeing recently I don't know why that is to be honest maybe it's just like palace trying to be too different um, but I just I don't know I'm just getting so sick of the triferg I like whenever I see an item with it on there um, I see people going crazy like oh my god this shit's so hard and then when it actually drops no one really buys it no one can resell it because there's probably five or ten other jackets that look the exact same as that jacket um, now don't get me wrong the triferg is an amazing design I absolutely love it almost more in the box logo even however I think it just gets spammed to hell on palace designs and it just gets old I will say palace is trying very hard I feel like to use different um, prints like different fonts and stuff like that and I totally commend them for that again um, shout out to you pals just keep trying your best to come out with like ingenuitive stuff new designs because that's what we all want we don't want the same old stuff but at the same time I want to see less triferg stuff um, maybe some of you will fight me on that but I don't know I'm just sick of it and I think it's killed the triferg design a lot for me at least personally all right so those are two of my biggest points now we're going to get into my smaller points that aren't really like that big of a deal but I just figured why not let's just complain about them since we're already complaining about palace so the next thing that I have an issue with with palace is they don't ever include new stickers in any of the releases um, like actually in packages for people because I know some of you are like whoa there's sticker packs but so to me buying a sticker pack is really stupid because I just think it'd be a lot cooler if they just put those stickers randomly in people's 
people's orders. I love how Supreme does that. The sticker packs were like really, really hard to get now because like my first point I said, um, you can't get stuff without bots now. And I think having to pay like what, 20 or $30 after shipping for just stickers is so stupid. I don't know why Palace can't just like recreate what Supreme does and put random stickers into people's orders. It'd make it so much more fun. Um, that's always just one thing that's bothered me with Palace. Like they recreate a lot of the things Supreme does in terms of like how they run their business, yada, yada, yada. However, they've never really picked up the practice of putting random stickers in people's orders. And I disagree with that. I think that'd be an awesome thing for them to incorporate. And they obviously produce stickers. I just hate the idea of sticker packs. I'm not a fan of them, especially with the ridiculous amounts of bots that are now on the Palace website. So I have one last thing to just complain about, and that is the lack of collabs that Palace has. Um, and I can't say that Palace does some awesome collabs. Like their Adidas pieces are so, so sick. I love them. The collab they did with Bronze was awesome. The collab they did this year with Oakley was all right. Not really for me personally, but I still thought it was cool. I thought it was different. The moral of the story is I love Palace collabs, but they never ever seem to do them. Like, I don't know what the thing is with Palace, but they just seem to hate everybody else. Palace is like the weird, like outside kid in school while Supreme's like the most popular. Everyone wants to collab with Supreme. I'm sure people want to have a collab with Palace. However, they, for whatever reason, just like refuse um, to do collabs with like a lot of other brands. And I just don't like that because um, I feel like that's a big reason that um, Palace designs get so stale, that I get so sick of like them overusing the Triferg. We just don't get um, collabs of like incorporation of different brands into Palace designs, which I think would be awesome. Like I just want to see Palace do stuff with different brands, different companies, um, not just clothing brands, like maybe like with movies, like they've done a lot of those movie t-shirts. They'll incorporate like a Palace logo somewhere on someone's stuff in like a movie or something like that. And I think those are awesome designs. I wish they would go like further with that and do more collabs. Um, they're actually official because I don't believe those are like official collabs. Uh, matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they got like a cease and desist for one of the Princess Diana things they were doing. But um, yeah, that's my entire list of things I have to complain about with Palace. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but I hope you like this video. Drop a like if you did. Um, I'm sorry if you disagree with any of my opinions. These are just my opinions and things I just want to throw out there for discussion. So if you guys want to roast me in the comments, feel free. Go ahead. My mom does it every single morning to my face. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video though and I hope you all have a great day. Uh, I will be having a new sale soon on Seattle Select. I promise. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that. Some of you don't care at all. But yeah, I'm just going to end this video now. Um, yeah, have a great day everybody and peace.